Celebs are known for being in the spotlight, so how could they just disappear? Sounds crazy, but it's happened. These celebrities vanished and are still missing today. Barbara Newhall Follett was just 12 years old when her first novel, The House Without Windows, was published in 1927. It became a bestseller, earning rave reviews from the New York Times. At age 14, her second novel, The Voyage of the Norman D, also received rave reviews. But then her life fell apart. Her father deserted the family, and though she continued writing, she entered the workforce to support herself after she turned 16. By age 25, she was unhappily married, and in 1939, she reportedly left the house after an argument with her husband. She was never seen again. Her husband waited a month to report her missing, leading some to believe foul play, but no evidence was ever found, and the press didn't learn of her disappearance until 1966, more than a quarter of a century later. Before he changed his name, Bison Dele was better known as basketball player Brian Williams, a 6'11 man mountain who left a trail of bruised egos through the NBA. But he was much more than just a basketball player, and at the age of 30, he quit the NBA and left the United States to wander the world as a poetry-writing nomad. Needless to say, he was a unique person. Like snowflakes, they're all unique and different. There's not in the history of the world never been two snowflakes alike. On July 7, 2002, Dele set sail on his private boat from Tahiti to Hawaii with his girlfriend Serena Carlin, his brother Miles DeBoard, and ship's captain Bertrand Saldo. Dele, Carlin, and Saldo were never seen again. Two months later, DeBoard was arrested in Phoenix trying to buy gold with one of his brother's checks. Released on bail, he took his own life. Authorities believe he slew the other three and dumped their bodies in the Pacific, but only the sea knows for sure. Legendary Chicano activist Oscar Zeta Acosta was a big man with even bigger appetites. Immortalized by Hunter S. Thompson as the character Dr. Gonzo in his 1971 novel Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Acosta was later portrayed by Benicio del Toro in the 1998 film adaptation. By then, however, Acosta had been missing for decades. In 1974, he visited his ancestral home in Mexico and simply vanished. Thompson spent years trying to find out what happened to his friend, eventually concluding that Acosta had been the victim of a drug-related hit or possibly even a political assassination. Others think he might have suffered a nervous breakdown and simply gone off the grid. The truth will likely never be known. Daniel Lind Lagerlöf was one of the biggest names in European cinema, writing and directing several classic Swedish films, and then he shockingly vanished. In 2011, Lagerlöf was scouting locations for an upcoming thriller in southern Sweden inside a nature reserve known as Scherpanon. According to his friends, he split off from the group to investigate the bleak, windswept island alone. And then, he was just gone. The leading theory is that he was caught by a wave and pulled out to sea, but no body was ever found, so while he's presumed dead, he officially still remains missing. Rico Harris was once one of the top college basketball recruits in the country, but things never seemed to work out for the high school superstar. He briefly attended Cal State Northridge and later became a member of the legendary Harlem Globetrotters. Then everything came crashing down. Head injuries suffered when he was attacked with a baseball bat forced him to retire, and a downward spiral of drinking followed. After a stint in rehab, though, he seemed to have put his life back together, and in 2014, he planned to move to Seattle to start a new chapter with his girlfriend Jennifer Song. Then he vanished. Returning from a visit with his mother, Harris called Song to say he was going into the mountains north of Sacramento to get some rest. Then he turned his phone off and vanished. His car and other belongings were later found, along with size 18 footprints and an empty bottle of booze. Multiple people reported seeing him in the area as long as a week later, and the lead detective on the case believes he may have hitched the ride somewhere, but where to, no one knows, as he has never been seen again. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more messed up history videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.